Android Studio has a rich set of tool windows that help you navigate the user interface and use various development features. You can get to the tool windows from the menu by selecting View, Tool Windows, and you'll see a listing of the most commonly used windows. For those that are most popular, there are keyboard shortcuts assigned. You won't always see all windows here. For example, if you're not already in a debug session, you may not see the debug window listed, as I don't. You can also get to tool windows by moving the cursor over this icon in the lower left. You don't have to click, just hover over it, and you'll see a list of windows appear. Or you can use the tabs that are displayed around the user interface. These represent the most popular windows or the ones you've used most recently. And the tabs will change at any given time, moving around as you work with the development environment. I've already talked about the project window, where you can get to your files and folders. The resource manager window was recently added to Android Studio, and it gives you access to all of your resources. There are tabs for drawable files, those are graphics, color definitions, layout files, MipMap graphics that are used for launchers, string resources, and if you're using the navigation component, you can get to your navigation graph resource here. All of these windows can be moved around the interface, or you can hide them by clicking on the minus sign in the upper right corner. The structure window will change its behavior depending on what kind of file you have open in the code editor over here. If you have a Java or Kotlin file open, you'll see the class name and then a listing of all the methods and, in some cases, other members of the class, such as fields or properties. There are tools for sorting those members, hiding various components, and so on. If you have another kind of file open, this structure window behaves differently. I'll open an XML layout file. And now in structure, I'm seeing the root element and its child element. And I can navigate to those elements in my code by clicking on them in the structure window. The favorites window is where you can add bookmarks for files you want to access easily. Let's say I wanted to mark main activity as a favorite. I'll click on it, and in the project window, if it's not selected, I'll click on the Select Open File icon. Now I'll right-click on the file and choose Add to Favorites, and I'll choose an existing category of My Application. And I'll see the file is now added. I'll close all my files by right-clicking on the tab and choosing Close All. Then I'll double-click on the file, and it opens. I can remove it from Favorites by selecting it and clicking the minus icon in the window. I'll talk about build variants later. It gives you a way of managing multiple versions of the application from common code base. The to-do window shows you your to-do items. So for example, if I type slash slash to-do and then some comment, I'll see that appear in my to-do list down here. I'll close the file. In the to-do list, I'll open this up and then jump to the comment, and the cursor lands right on it. I've already talked about version control, and I'll talk later about the Logcat window. It's critical for tracing what's going on internally when your application is running. The Build window shows you your progress when you're building an app, and the Terminal window gives you access to the command line. Over on the right, the Gradle window shows you a list of all the tasks that are run when you build an application. You might not interact with this window very much, but it's useful to know where it is. And your Device File Explorer window is an incredibly useful tool for navigating and manipulating the file system for your connected devices. You can see any of your connected devices, and in this case, I see my virtual device and my physical device. So that's a brief tour of all the different windows that you might use when you're doing Android app development. And I encourage you to explore all the windows that are shown on this menu. You may not use them all, but it's worth knowing where they are.